Right. In God's eyes. That's right. That's right. That scripture alone contradicts what men been preaching. That God won't dwell in the unclean temple. That's true. Because God was in heaven while the devil was there. That's and right. heaven was unclean and God still was there. That's right. Get me good. I want to soak you a little. That's right. Well, Pastor Janice, I thought that uh, the Holy Ghost can't be in you when the devil is in you. Ain't no Bible said that. No. Don't tell me the, the devil can't be in you. Why you got the Holy oh, Ghost? Certainly he can. Certainly. If the devil ain't in that holy brother or holy sister, what she or he is repenting about? Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Good. That's right. Mm -hmm. What is he and she uh, thinking wrong and doing wrong and, and then fulfilling the Bible, confess your faults one to the other? <laughs> That's right. That's right. Preacher said. Holy Ghost don't dwell in no unclean temple, you fool. What do you think you need the Holy Ghost for? The Lord says. So he can come in your unclean temple to clean it. That's right. I, I preach that God dwell in the unclean place. In 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse 12. And that unclean place is darkness. That's right. Hear this. Give chapter verse again, Minister William. 1 Kings chapter 8 and at verse 12. Solomon. Pastor, Pastor Jennings. All right. Then spake Solomon. Then spake Solomon. The Lord said. Who said it? The Lord said. All right, preachers. You that been telling folk God will do all well no unclean temple. You make it the last time you tell <laughs> that right. lie. That's right. Because who's talking now? The Lord said. Now don't say that's what Jennings preached. No, I'm going to preach what God preached. The Lord right. said. The Lord said. That he would dwell. He would dwell. In thick darkness. In what? Thick darkness. Not just darkness. Thick darkness. But thick darkness. Thick darkness. Why would God come in thick darkness? Thick darkness, thick darkness means stubborn darkness. That's right. That's right. You know, there's some beliefs you're very thick in it. That's right. See, some people got beliefs, but they don't, they're not thick in it. Right. They're very shallow in it. Yeah. That's right. Wonderful. So they can easily be swayed. Amen. But then you got those that are in that belief thick. thick. They are covered in thick darkness until they are fight tooth and nail. That's right. And it takes God to dwell or deal with them to deliver them. That's right. That made me think of my brother Williams. That's right. I use him as an example because he can bear witness. Oh, yes. He was not just a Trinitarian, but he was thick in it. Oh, yes. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you've been raised up a particular way practically all your life, yeah. that stuff is grounded on you. That's right. And we grew up together and we were battling it out. That's right. We were battling it out and... I would tell him he's blind. He don't know what he's talking about. He'll say, Nikki, shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. And then after, we go outside and race or play half ball or That's play right. basketball. That's right. And man, we had throw shots at each other. Amen. Amen. And man, he had shoot the ball and miss the shot. I said, none of your guards helped you. Nice, <laughs> nice. And man, I shoot. <laughs> if I shoot and I make my shot, I say, one, one shot, <laughs> one, one shot. guard. <laughs> oh, we would go at it, man. We would Amen. go at it. Huh? We would race. Oh, yes. Run down a 100 yard dash, sprint, gone. That's right. If I beat him, <laughs> one. <laughs> if he lose, I say, you see that? That's weakness in the Trinitarians. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So we would go at it for years. For years. But thick darkness, many of us, not all, but many of us can identify what it's like. To be in thick darkness in your mind right. and in your heart. That's yeah. right. And brother, it takes God. See, the reason why God say he will dwell there, because he know when you in that state, no man yeah. on his own can help you. That's right. That's right. No man. No man. Because the question is this. Even though it's thick darkness... Yeah. Only the Lord knows how thick is the darkness that you're in. That's right. And a man on his own may not can properly estimate or measure how thick the darkness is. But God come 
comes into your sinful mind. That's right. And God starts to dwell yeah. or starts to deal with your unbelieving heart. That's right. And slowly but surely, yeah. he start, hallelujah, start to diminish the thickness of how you think. That's right. And the thickness of how you feel. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's why the Lord says he will dwell. Dwell, dwell in thick darkness. In thick darkness. Thick darkness. As Amen. long as that darkness is thick, it blinds you yeah. to who God is. That's right. To what God is. In fact, they make you fight against God many times in ignorance and in unbelief. That's right. But when your eyes start to come open, yeah. Yeah. you'll find yourself one day oh, yes. reading scripture. That's right. While you're in darkness. That's right. Opening up the book of light. Amen. And only because of the honesty and sincerity of your heart. Yes. God start making the scriptures plain to you. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Yeah. God. God. The things you used to fight against. Now you start to reconsider. That's right. That's right. Until the book says, consider what I said. What I said. And he promised to give you the understanding. Yeah. Glory to God in all things. In all things. Hallelujah. God don't come in you because you're clean. No. Look, man, if you why would someone take a clean seat to, to the cleaners? That's right. That's right. It's clean already. Already right. clean. So God don't come in you with the Holy Ghost because you're clean. No. You need the Holy Ghost because you're dirty. That's right. Because only God can govern your steps. Oh, yeah. Only God can change your behavior. Only God can change your mind so you don't go where you used to go. That's right. That's so right. Satan is there. Is there. And then God come while he's there. That's right. Satan is fighting for your soul. And God wants your soul. That's right. Now, this is the difference between both spirits. Satan will take you by force. That's right. God wants you to come willingly. 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 Will work in all type of methods. That's right. To keep you in that mental and emotional stage you're in. And disguise it as though God is dealing with you. That's right. And the only reason why he's been able to pull this off for years. Is because of our ignorance of God. That's it. That's right. That's right. There are three things you need to know. God. Satan. Self. self. God, Satan, yeah. self. Oh, yes. Because all three talk. That's right. From here. That's right. God can deal with you here. Yeah. Satan can deal with you here. Yeah. And then your own natural emotions deal with you here. That's right. That's true. And if you can't differentiate your own natural emotions, from the purpose of God, you will say, the Lord move on me to do such and such a thing when God had nothing to do with your decision. That's right. This is why it's important. To know God, Satan, self. Oh, yes. Are you listening? Amen. Satan was put out of heaven. Yes. Iniquity was found in Lucifer. So the angel Lucifer took on the characteristics 
now of Satan. Changed his character to the character that matched two beasts. That's right. Oh, let me backtrack. Three beasts. Three beasts. Give me Revelation. Revelation chapter 12. And then 12. give me Peter. Amen. Revelation chapter 12, and we'll start reading it. Until three. Satan is now known as a transformer. Transformer. He's not Optimus. No. And he ain't Unicron. <laughs> no. But he is a deceiver. He's a deceiver. Are you listening? That's right. I want you to follow me so we can break this down good. First in Revelation chapter 12, we'll start reading at verse 3. We're working on Satan's transformations. That's right. I want Revelation. I want Peter. Peter. Then I want Satan's transformation mm -hmm. coming in our own age group, Jasher. Jasher. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Follow me. First in Revelation chapter 12, and we're at verse 3. Listen. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. There appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon. A great red dragon. Having seven heads and ten horns. What is it? And, ten crown, and seven crowns upon his heads. Yes. And his tail. His tail. Drew the third part of the stars of heaven. All right, hold it. Yeah. Because I don't want you, as I often said, you know, Hollywood always make Hollywood. the devil with this 1930s skin tight suit. That's right. Red with a little tail like a costume. Right. Now, tail have a broad meaning. That's right. We know that lizards have tails and whatnot, but the great red dragon, which is a title describing mm -hmm. the characteristics of Satan, uh -huh. is not that Satan had a tail. No. Right. Tail, Satan tail is not in back of him. That's right. Satan tells in front of him. Isaiah chapter 9 and at verse 15. Satan tell ain't something that he move around. No. Satan tell is his words. That's right. Follow me in the Bible. Isaiah. That's how the Bible harmonized very good. Follow Isaiah me. chapter 9 and at verse 15. Listen. The ancient and honorable. The ancient and honorable. He is the head. That's God. God is the ancient for he's called the ancient of days. And the Hold up. The reason why God is called the ancient of days because there is no years, no numbers to his age. That's right. He's been around so long. All we can do is look at him as being the ancient, ancient. of days. That's right. All right. The ancient and honorable. The ancient and honorable. He is the head. He's the head. And the prophet. Hold it. The messenger. That teacheth lies. That teacheth lies. He is the tail. The first messenger of lies was Satan. That's right. He is the tail. He is what? He is the tail. But how does he demonstrate that tail? The prophet that teach. The prophet that teach. teacheth lies. When you teach, you're speaking. That's right. He's speaking lies. What is it? He is the tail. Now, notice back in Revelation, what did he do with his tail? Back in Revelation chapter 12 and verse 4. Glory to God. And his tail. His tail. Drew the third part of the stars of heaven. Hold it. His words. That's right. Now, let me show you the words that he used to convince them. That's right. The angels of what he can do. Isaiah chapter Isaiah, 14. Chapter 14. And beginning. at verse 12. But yeah, all right, let's have it. How art thou fallen from heaven? How art thou Lucifer? fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Son. Spell son. S O N. Of what? Of the morning. Hold up. That's right. I have to dissect this. <laughs> Amen. Come on, that's right. If he's a S O N, S O N, then he got to have a father. That's right. Well, who's the father of Lucifer, Satan? Book of Hebrews. Book of Hebrews, chapter twelve. That's what. Book of Hebrews, chapter twelve. Uh -huh. Should we not rather? That's right. Be subject. At verse nine. What is it? Furthermore, we have had Furthermore, fathers of our we flesh. Have had fathers of our flesh. Which corrected us. Which corrected us. And we gave them reverence. And we honored them. Shall we not much rather? Shall we not rather be in subjection? Be in subjection unto the Father unto of spirits. Unto the Father or the Creator of spirits. Of who? Of spirits. And what? And live. See, Satan is the spirit. That's right. And the Lord said, I create good and I create evil. Create evil. So, God created Lucifer. That's right. God created Satan. You don't have two creators. No. no. You got one creator. One creator. So when he drew a third part of the stars of heaven, of heaven. which are the angels, yeah. with his tail, it was words that he was talking. That's right. Go back to the book of Isaiah. Back in Isaiah chapter 14 at verse 12. Listen. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Hold it. Son of the morning. Of the morning. Son of the morning. When you get a son, come from the womb, you got a newborn. Yeah. Right. 
Well, he's called son of the morning. The morning. Meaning he introduced a light that never exists. Hmm. Are you getting this? When morning starts, starts, does it start with light or darkness? Darkness. It starts with darkness. Darkness. And eventually, light comes. That's right. Satan is the spirit of darkness, but he transformed himself into an angel of light. Angel of and light. that light is not the light of God. It is artificial light, so you can think it's God. That's right. So he's called the sun. Of the morning. Of the morning because he introduced something that never been in the earth. Right. Evil. That's right. The rising of evil. The rising of unrighteousness. He introduced a new day, a new era, a new time. That's right. When morning starts, it's the starting of a new day. That's right. Son of the morning, now he's starting the new day. Mm. A new time, a new era. Mm. What is that era? Wickedness. Wickedness. Ungodliness. That's right. Rebel against God. That's right. Hateful. Hating one another. Yeah. Bloodshed. Oh, yes. Murder. Yeah. Rape. Yeah. Incest. All of that characteristics was in Satan. That's why it's called the merchandise. merchandise. What was in him made him violent. That's right. The merchandise of Satan came to the earth. That's right. They have filled the midst of they thee. They have filled the midst of thee. With violence. With violence. And thou hast sinned. And thou hast sinned. They, how art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Yes. How art thou cut down to the ground? Oh, you cut down to the ground. Which didst weaken the nations. Satan did what? Weaken the nations. You know, false prophets preach that the devil don't have no power mm. unless you believe it. Amen. I don't care if you don't believe it. No. The devil got power and he don't need your belief to motivate him. That's right. Are you listening? How art thou cut down to the ground? He cut down to the ground. Which did it weaken the nation. He weakened the nations. For thou hast said in thine heart. Wait a minute. Hmm. This is why the Bible went on to say in another place. The heart is the most deceitful thing. Deceitful thing. Yeah. And is desperately wicked, wicked because that was first fulfilled in Satan. That's right. For thou hast said in thine heart. Wait, when he said in his heart, the, the feelings of his heart brought about desperate actions. That's right. That's right. Anytime you're going to declare war against God, you desperate for power. Yes, yes. That's right. That's right. So he made a desperate move. Yes, he did. Desperate actions. And the angels that joined with him believed in this act of desperation. That's right. And they became desperate. That's right. Imagine willing to lose your holy place, holy place. with God Amen. over your greed for power. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Are you listening? That's yeah. right. Willing to lose your anointing, anointing. and replace your anointing with greed That's right. for power. That's right. He was the anointed cherub. The anointed yeah. cherub because. And the Lord declared because I made him so. That's right. You're willing to sell out on God. Make a name for yourself. For authority. That's right. For power. For position. For position. And if you take note, all of that character came to the earth. To the earth. And when it hit and got in man, and man been messed up ever since. Oh, yes. Hear me, hear me, hear me good. Isaiah chapter 14 at verse 13. What is that? But thou hast said in thine heart. Thou hast said in thine heart. Hold it. He felt something. He felt. That's right. That's right. right. His heart was his heart. deceitful. That's right. And lust was in his heart because he desired what God already had. Right. God made it plain. Who is my equal? My equal. Yeah. Saith the Holy One. Yeah. That's right. You see, Lucifer been where you're trying to get. Oh, yes. Already there. This is why I see them work tirelessly, just consistently, to keep you from getting where you're trying to get. That's right. He's been there already. That's right. His, he'll never get back there. No. All right. For thou hast said in thine heart, 
I will ascend into heaven. I will. This is the tail working. Yeah. Wagging his tail. Wagging it. Using words. That's Wagging right. his tongue. That's right. That's right. Thy ascend in thy heart. I will ascend into heaven. I'm going to ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars I'm of God. I'm going to exalt my authority above the stars of God, which means I'm going to exalt my authority above the other angels. That's right. Uh -huh. I will sit also upon the mountain. That's of what stars mean. I hold that. Let me certify Let me that with that. the first chapter of the book of Revelation. Yes. The seven stars that was in the right hand That's right. of the angel. That's right. Let's see what it is. Revelation chapter 1 and we'll write it verse 20. Says what? The mystery of the seven stars. The mystery of the seven stars. Which thou sawest in thy saw right hand. Which thou sawest in the right hand. And the seven golden candlesticks. And the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars. The seven stars. Are the angels. Are the angels. Of the seven churches. Of the seven churches. And the seven candlesticks. And the seven, which thou seven candlesticks. Are the seven churches. Are the seven churches. So when you see the star. That represent the angel. That's right. The reason why an angel is called a star is because he's supposed to reflect the light of God at night. At night. I don't mean when it's night time. Right. I mean in the midst of evil That's right. or in the midst of the darkness of sin. That's right. The angel is supposed to reflect the light of God, the characteristics of God. Now it's two kinds of angels. Yeah. Them that are born. And them that come from above. Come from above. Bible talking about attaining angels. That's right. Unaware. Angel means messenger. messenger. Yeah. So God make his preacher a messenger. That's right. And if you look up in the solar system, you'll see some stars outshining the other. That's right. Yet they all reflect the light of the sun. Glory to God. That's right. But there are some stars that shine a little bit Especially brighter. Let's get some Bible. First Corinthians chapter 15, we'll write it verse 41. You know, because I'm pretty sure there's someone that will come in and say he's trying to mix astrology, astrology. <laughs> in his teaching. No, 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 no. no. I'm going to show you Bible mm -hmm. where the Bible showed you the difference in the stars. That's right. And then I show you Bible where men were compared to planets. That's right. And I, I got to get all of that, all of that. and then I shift gears and come back to your father, the devil. That's right. All right, let's go to work. First Corinthians chapter 15, we'll write it verse 41. This is a good Bible study here. Follow me. There is one glory of the sun. There is one glory, one appearance, one function of the sun. And another glory of the moon. Another glory of the moon. And another glory of the stars. Another glory of the stars. For one star. One star. Different. Different. From another star. From another star. In glory. In glory. It differed from a, in glory, in appearance, in function. That's right. Uh, it's like the spiritual solar system of God's church. Right. The stars in God's church differ That's right. in function and in glory. That's right. You know, the brightest star he put in the church is apostle. That's right. He outshined every, all of them. That's right. Huh? That's right. First Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's right. Amen. Until it, when, when God was here in the flesh, you know, they got over social media and said, you see that? He's proud. He's arrogant. He said he, he done more work than Jesus did. Wow. Jesus said I would. That's right. Jesus promised to his apostles. St. John chapter 14 and verse 12. I'm not proud. I'm not boastful. No, you're not, Pastor. Uh, uh, Jesus said. Jesus said it. It would be done. St. John right. chapter 14 and at verse 12. Now, and let's hear this, and then I get back to the divine solar system of things. Verily, verily, I say unto you. Truly. And let you know without a shadow of a doubt. That's right. I say to you. He that believeth on me. And I believe on him. The, the works that I do. The work That I do. That I do. Shall he do all Shall also. he. He gonna do what I do. And greater works. And greater works. Than these shall he do. Than these shall he do. Because I go unto my father. Because I'm going back. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. 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 The works that I do. What that mean? Go ahead. Man. The work that he done in the flesh. Go ahead. He didn't come here in the flesh to go into all the world. No. He came to set up an example. That's right. Teach his apostles. That's right. And then leave the rest of it to them. That's right. In the flesh, they went all over the world. All over the world. Jesus didn't do it. No. But they done it by the power of Jesus. That's right. That's right. That's right. So when I say I've done more works, I'm talking about travel and 
but I do it all by him. By him. Preaching the gospel, and I do it by him. That's right. Baptizing, hallelujah, baptizing thousands. That's right. But we do it by him. That's right. Temples are opening up, hallelujah, hallelujah. around the world. That's right. But we do it by him. That's right. Jesus said it would. He that believeth on me. I'm a believer. <laughs> That's it. That's right. Oh, let's take God. That's right. And the God. works that I do. Jesus said he. That believeth on me. That believe on me. The works that I do. The works that I do. Shall he do shall also. Shall the believer do also. And greater works and than And he will do more works. Shall he do. When a thing is greater than something else, you do more. That's right. That's Shall right. he do? Be why? Because I go unto my father. Which lets you know that his ministry was not long. That's right. In the flesh. That's right. But his, but, but his service is forever in the spirit. That's it. Nice. Temporary in the flesh, eternal in the spirit. That's right. Oh, they don't like that fact. They don't like that. No, they don't like that. But it's true. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 But I'm doing it all by Jesus. That's it. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, let's get back to the solar system now. Back in 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 51. Parliament. Rather, verse 41. All right. There is one glory of the sun. One glory of the sun. And another, another glory, glory of, the moon, of the moon. And another glory of the star. Another glory of the star. For one star differeth from one another star. One star differeth from another. In glory. In glory. And that's the way the church is. That's right. The preacher, he is a messenger. Mm -hmm. And the apostles, their job, and they work occupation and the divine preaching skill that's it as a bible interpreter being able to be spiritually analytical that's it that's it to break down the language of god the agenda of god the oh, purpose yeah, of god the standard of god the authority of god and make the prophets and the apostles harmonize that's so it. when the writing come on the wall the apostle is able to go and read the writing and interpret the writing by the same one that wrote the writing that's right God give it to the apostle. That's right. Uh, it's not an ordinary office. It's an extraordinary office. Oh, yes. You that say are the apostles now. Mm -hmm. Well, that's your problem. That's your problem. But if you're going to be in the same church that they were in. Yes. Then God says he set some. And God had said so. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get chapter and verse. First Corinthians chapter 12, we're at verse 28. Let's read the solar system. And God, God has set some, some in the church. What? First apostles. Now hold it. Yeah. 